steps in the post. He's a big energy guy for us too. He gets a dunk, he gets a lob, and the whole momentum of the game switches over. Well, along those lines with that energy, after that three that extended the lead to 13, <laughs> you had a big celebration. What was that moment like for you? It was it just kind of like capstone, like the game for me where I, I was feeling good. I, I made a shot. They called a timeout. We were on a run. We were up 14 at the time. So it was just kind of like this final like feeling of like, all right, we can finish this game out, but we have to keep that energy going. And I was mean getting to play in Madison Square Garden for the first game that hit a shot like that was just was big. Tomorrow, how are you going to have an encore after playing the way you did at Madison Square Garden in your Kentucky debut? Uh, I mean, I'm just going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to high energy, be vocal, dive on the floor for loose balls, be a rebounder. Whatever the team needs me to do tomorrow, I'm going to do that. How do you feel like you can get better going into tomorrow? Uh, having a higher level of focus going in, going hitting guys for rebounds, hitting guys uh, and setting good screens, getting my guys open, making shots when I'm open, and, and finishing around the hoop a little bit better. Has the vibe sort of changed this week after the performance you guys were able to put on on Tuesday night? I don't think so. I think everybody's really, really locked in. Um, everybody's bought into what we're trying to do here. And, and we were before, but I think after that game, everybody realizes how special we can be. And we had a really high level of energy for 40 minutes. Everybody, even the guys on the bench that weren't playing, you come out of the game, they're high-fiving you, they're smiling, they're pumped up. And that really translates into what we're doing and, and how we're playing. Tyrese, when I asked Tyrese if it was a confidence <coughs> builder the other night for the team, he said, you guys had a lot of confidence going into the game. Where, where did that confidence come from? I think a lot of it's just being basketball players. I mean, if you're not a confident player going into the game, then you shouldn't be playing. Um, but when, when you have 13 guys that are confident in what you're trying to do and a whole coaching staff behind you, and they're confident in what you're doing, um, it definitely helps when you're out on the court. And then to have Tyrese get going like he did, that's his confidence should be through the roof for the rest of the season. Nate, no Was you used to talk, by the way? You no, not at all. Tyrese is a big time player. The dude is absurd. He's a big time shot maker. Uh, he just everything that he does, he does really, really well. And he does it with a smile on his face. That's when you know he's he's really playing. Nate, knowing what Nick was dealing with and having a bum ankle, not practicing for most of the days leading up to that game, and how difficult of an assignment it was with the pick and rolls and to stay with a guard like Cash, mm -hmm. and the way he did do that for you guys, give you 25 minutes. How? I don't know, what does that say about Nick to you? The, the, Nick is one of the toughest guys that we have. He's mentally tough. Being being here for three years and, and going through the practices, the, the, the daily grind of, of being a Kentucky basketball player for three years is big. And you could see it too. Like when It's a big difference from this year to last year uh, with him. And, and he just wants to play. And the dude is a big time player for us. And shows how mentally tough he is to be able to sit down and do that every possession for us. And and to be able to guard a guy like Cashers off of a ball screen is, it's a hard, a hard assignment and doing it hurt for 40 minutes is, is big.